This video is going to focus on gold and Fibonacci, and we're looking at Finviz with the all the time frames from 5 minute hourly to daily. On the 5 minute chart, we have a bottom of 1192 and this new recent high of almost 1200. That's a difference of about 8, and we'll say 790 just to uh, make it sound good, or 795 even, it's pretty close. But a 795 difference of the two numbers. And if we multiply it by 382 for a 38.2%, that gives us a little over 3 of a difference. You add that to the bottom, which would be a level of about uh, 1195.04. So we'll say 1195 even, which is the first Fibonacci level. And the second one, we would take the 61.8 and also multiply it by the difference, which we would say is 795. That gives us a total of 491 higher, which would give us a Fibonacci level of 1197 almost. And we are, we're breaking down from that level, so that makes us think that 1195 might be the next target for uh, the gold. And as far as the Fibonacci from this high and this low, it, this looks like 12.02.70 or 60, maybe 12.02.60. So we'll say it's a little, we'll just even say 10. It makes it really easy actually when you can go with that number. Because obviously uh, a 38.2% retracement would be about uh, 380 higher than that, which uh, would be 11.95.80. 1196 so we're getting towards that area and it's two-thirds retracement would have been uh, 618 higher so that's 1198 and change so this was at uh, first Fibonacci level here and uh, that's why this 1196 1195 area seems like one that could be uh, pierced as far as the hourly time frame is concerned I think that the Fibonacci you want to look at is uh, the bottom and the low. You're going to see this pattern of higher highs and uh, higher lows, and it's been consolidating throughout time. So now you want to see when this happens, okay, how's the Fibonacci going to react? And the bottom we have is a little over 1155 with the top at 1205. So that's about 50. So yet another even number. And uh, a 23.6% a, a retracement is... Uh, a 0.764 will take 38.20 on top of this bottom and uh, that gives us a level of uh, 11.9320 so we're right at that uh, significant uh, Fibonacci level that we were uh, planning on going towards and the next one would be the 38.2 so we will do 50 multiply the uh, 618 and uh, that's 30 on top so that would be about 1186 that would be the next level so if you were to play this uh, five minute time frame which obviously just broke down as uh, I, was, I was thinking that that, that uh, it just happened so we see it break down to this level and if this does not hold then that's where we would be going towards on the next level would be that 1185. And uh, that would be the uh, Fibonacci. It's where we had resistance on the 2nd and 3rd of August. But we've had resistance all over the place. We've had it here at 1190, 1194, 1185. So we've had a lot of different places where it has uh, came into play. And as far as the daily chart is uh, concerned, I think the Fibonacci we want to look at is this top and this low, which uh, looks to me about uh, 1265 and 1160, which uh, is a little over 100, 105. So we can just do a little bit more than uh, 20, uh, 38, 2 from this, uh, or 38 from where we were bottoming at, like 11. 55, so that's uh, about 11.90 something. So we're pretty much getting close now to that 38.2% uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement. So thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day.